Find a composition actually looks like a pretty good one right here. So I think I'll um, set up and take this shot, and then we'll uh, take a look. Take a look around. Now that I'm top, right? Now that I'm set up, um, what I usually do is I'll take one shot without the menu filter, and I'll take a couple shots with. Uh, the ND filter, and maybe the polarizing filter. Some may disagree about doing that, but that's the way I do it. Um, that way, I get different, different pictures. So I'm shooting at F11. ISO 200, and now I'm going to put on the Hoya. 500. Just the exposure brings me to a four second. Four second exposure, six seconds with the anti shake. Now let's uh, look around for a different picture. When you do take uh, your photos, get there early in the morning for the morning light, the best light. Uh, morning and, and uh, in the evening not to not to say you can't take good pictures you know during the day either but I actually see this here that's very I think I yeah that move over here a little bit so I'm gonna set up and take this picture see how it comes out that we've taken a couple of photos to impress our friends back home. Let me introduce you to Watt JD.
Samson with Dracon may not be the most famous or the biggest temple here in Thailand, but it definitely has its history. Built back in 1827 during the reign of the second king, finished in 1828. Now it is enjoyed by local for the morning exercise, a walk around the perimeter, maybe a jog. And it also houses is host to the annual festival here, which takes place between October 21st and November 1st.
So as you can see, the temple is actually built on the banks of the Chao Phraya River. And across the river way there is Bang Nam. Bang Nam is where you will be picking up the boat to come across the river. Uh, the instructions to get on how to get here from Bangkok. Um, we'll, I'll have a link in the description to my website and on there I have I have uh, all the instructions on Places like this. If you've never been to Thailand, or, or if you're planning on your first trip to Thailand, some of the temples here in Thailand are the most beautiful, have the most beautiful design and architecture that you will ever see. Um, even back, I went to uh, the ancient city of Siena. And uh, I'll be doing a video on that. That's coming in the future. But even back in the ancient times, the uh, the detail is just unbelievable. So now let's uh, take a look inside the uh, temple where the Buddha is. So if you're coming to Bangkok, or if you're in Bangkok, and you want to get away and have a peaceful day and see some history, this definitely should be on your list, especially when it's not so far from Bangkok. But don't forget, there's other things to see other than just the, just the temple here. I'm 
across the way on the island is the 1819 military post, which I'll be doing a video on. I'm also going to be doing a video on the, at the army base with the uh, battleship, which is a museum and a restaurant. So that's that's to come. But I just wanted to bring this place in, in the view to people that you know don't know about it. Obviously, I mean you don't see anybody here. Okay, so. It's definitely peaceful and definitely away from the crowds. So please keep in mind what JD. And uh, until next, oh, and please, if you want to know when these photos, when these videos are being posted on on my channel, you know what you have to do: subscribe. Okay, so subscribe and please give me a like on this video and. Until next time, I will see you. No, wait, that's not right. I won't see you, but you'll see me, okay? On the next video, and uh, I don't know what it's gonna be. Maybe a landscape photo shoot, or it might be that military post on the island. So, I'll have to wait and see, all right? So, like I said, see me next time on the video. Next, uh, next video.